Hi everyone, uh, as you can see, clean shaven to the skin for the first time in four years. So soak it up, drink it in, all natural light, can't get better than this, this is what I aim for, this is where the YouTube videos will come up, and this is what I'll be looking back at, so um, drink it all up, be happy with it, be happy with the way I look, and that's what the key thing is, to be happy with the way you look, and don't look at others and think that's how I should look, you know, look how you, how you want, be unique, stand out, feel important, feel good, feel special, feel excited, feel happy feel motivated, feel like you can do anything you want, feel like you're the only one in the world, feel so happy and unique. So I want to feel, I want to stand out, I want to look like I've never looked before, well I have looked before, my best best years were when my hair was best, from like, you know, when I left school to maybe 2016-2017 and I had it was my routine to go clean shave and wash my hair, whatever, and that was become part of a routine, part of a sort of a thing, a habit that I enjoyed, that I liked, that I felt good about. And I think this is important. I think it's important to do what you want and look how you want to look. Because it just was happening in the World Cup at the moment, you know, they've got human rights issues, there's just be some controversy surrounding it. But once again, yeah, that's why you've got to feel so lucky and grateful about the position you're in compared to, you know, what's happening. Like I said, the people playing for England, they'll be focusing on the football and using it as an antidote. And I think for me, you know, going clean shame to the skin for the first time in four years and trying to grow my hair in a certain way, that makes me feel good. Like I said, sometimes you can't be the president of everything. Sometimes you can't be the top guy in every format. You can't be the top person and the boss in everything that you do and you can't make others change. So sometimes you can only do the best for yourself. Whether that's changing your appearance, changing your looks, going out and trying something different, trying new foods, going vegan, traveling to places you've never gone before, seeing the world, exploring, um, go hiking, you know, climbing some mountains or something in Canada. <laughs> I don't know where, but like I said, the key thing is to be happy with yourself and be happy with the life that you're living. You're living. Once again, in the age of sort of comparing yourself to others, it's easy to just think that what you're doing isn't enough when it is. In reality, if you stop looking at the screens of where the key denominator is for looking at the people's lives, then it becomes easier and you feel good about yourself and you can allow yourself not to get brainwashed and you allow yourself to be happy and content with the life that you're living. Um, like I said, with Qatar at the moment, there's issues surrounding that human rights controversy and I respect that. I agree there shouldn't be that. There shouldn't be this discrimination. But once again, you've got to realise like somewhere in England, we've got discrimination, we respect it, LGBT, who be Black Lives Matter, although unfortunately a species and sort of gets thrown under the bus, but once again, so there's always going to be something is what I'm trying to say. So don't think too much about things and, um, you know, be happy with your life. The only, you're the only one living it. And like I said, the, thing, the things I want to do, I want to travel. Um, I've never even left the continent before. I want to travel to loads of different places. I want to go to America. It's like a dream for me. Like I go to bed and dreaming and oh, I'd love to just travel around the world. Of course I would. Who, want, who wouldn't want to? Who wouldn't want to go to a nice hot tropical place? I'd love to just go somewhere for Christmas for a few months or something. Could go out in you know beach or something with my tropical girlfriend or something, you know. I love to do all this. So, you know, it's sort of, you know, our, our choice what we do to an extent. Obviously money is a practical issue, but I think that's irrelevant. I think, you know, once again I'm saying, you know, we all have ambitions, we all have dreams, we all have something we want to strive for. So what I'm trying to say is don't focus on the negatives or some what's happening to someone else that doesn't affect you necessarily. Because sometimes you can't be the top you can't be the boss in all, all scenarios, even if, if you think it's right and it's moral, which a lot of the time it may well be, because people are naturally compassionate anyway. But sometimes you can't be the top to the top dog. So like I said, when they were hosting Qatar, I'm sure a lot of people had controversy about human rights issues. Why can't women drive? Why have they got an issue about sexuality? Why why were the farm workers being treated badly? But like I said, you can't be the boss in every scenario. Sometimes you've got to just focus on the football, focus on the antidote. Football's meant to be an antidote, and it is. I think of Man United, I think of you know, something that I support, I think of I think they're doing well. I think it makes me feel good that they're doing well. I I, I want the best for the club. Like I said, Ronaldo's recently come out in an interview and saying they've been bullying him and stuff. I felt a bit sorry for him. But I, like I said, he's in all that money a week. So I do feel sorry for him. It's like a bit of a, a leeway. You've got to think, well, we, you know, he's probably not doing that badly, is he? <laughs> but, um, but like I said, you've got to have perspective in certain situations, which is what's key. Perspective, you know, and that starts with yourself. That starts with looking at things in a certain way and being happy with the way things are going sometimes. Um, Sometimes, you know, you've got to have, um, you've got to be rational about things. You've got to be, think think things through first. And I think that's key. I think um, you can't just go straight in even if something immoral is happening. Sometimes you've got to respect other people's decisions or what, what you believe in might contradict others and you might have arguments. Um, I think it's key to, to stay grounded, I think, in these scenarios. You've got to learn, it's, it's a skill set. It's a skill set to learn. Perhaps you learn it in the military where you have buzz cuts or something. Imagine me having a buzz cut now, thank you, mate. <laughs> But actually then just sort of discipline in the military where you have to get up early, where you have to have, I mean the haircut of a buzz cut is actually a standard haircut, it's like, that's actually like regulation, you can understand why you don't have hair flopping around when you're trying to do important crucial work that could be, you know, investing in your life sometimes. But um, I think, I think the principle I'm trying to say is, 
um, skill sets you might learn through different certain times in your life they can help you move forward and sometimes people only some certain people have these skill sets the skill sets discipline of patience of the skill sets of learning when to talk and when to not to talk learning when to butt in a little bit when when to speak up and certain times even if something immoral is happening you've just got to lay low you just got to let bygones be bygones is what it is whatever you can't do nothing about it and sometimes you just got to let it let it go and keep the peace in the extent that it benefits you like I said, some others, you know, you can't stop everything bad happening in the world. So the key thing is to stop perhaps what you can practically. As long as nothing bad's happening to you, obviously if something bad's happening to you, you've got every right to speak out. That's mental. <laughs> That's mental. You can't always be hidden away. We're not living in, you know, medi medieval times. You've got every right to speak up. Every right. Of course you have. It's mental. So um, speak up. Be happy. Be grateful and um, don't let others bother you because if anything anyone bothers you they're not worth it they're not worth your time they're not worth your patience they're not worth any money any money or anything you're putting forward any, any anything you're kind of putting part of yourself in or intervening it's not worth the time or the effort so um, be grateful be happy with the life that you're living travel do what you want as much as you can live while you're young grow your hair out while you're young like I said grow your hair out right now like I said this hair stuff stands out a lot you know grow your hair out be happy be content with it and um motivate yourself to be the best version of yourself possible because at the end of the day you're the only one living your life don't look at other people and think that's the best best way forward because other celebrities probably have something happening in their lives that they don't share public so be happy with yourself be grateful strive forward and um do what you like and be yourself don't let anyone tell you otherwise because they're not worth it live live for you do the best for you